हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट 100 इन मैथमेटिक्स बाय शिवेश कुमार सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एरिया ऑफ अ पैरलेलोग्राम ओके वील टॉक अबाउट दिस इन डिटेल सो प्लीज सी द वीडियो केयरफुली एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग ओके ना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द पैरलेलोग्राम सो यू सी दिस टाइप ऑफ शेप वेयर ऑपोजिट साइड्स आर पैरलेल एंड इक्वल This is called parallelogram. Means, if this side is x, then this will also be x. If it is y, then this will also be y. Okay. So this is the meaning of a parallelogram. Okay. In short, what you understand? Parallelogram means a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel and equal to each other. Okay. Now, we are talking about area. so you can see here in this picture there are two things one is this outline this one okay and something which is inside this yes so what the thing is representing here area okay see you have studied this about before also so what what is the meaning of area inside or outside okay so area means inside not outside if you see the outline like this is the outline here so if you see the outline what what is the name of this outline if you make all these outlines plus if you add all these outlines then what do you get do you uh, what do you get here you get perimeter what you get perimeter okay so perimeter means outline only what we can see from the outside but here we are talking about the area so area means the region which is inside this is complete area okay this shaded portion this blue color okay this is complete area so we are talking about area of the parallelogram so what will be the formula here formula will be area is equal to base base length times height okay this is the formula for area so this area will be equal to this side is called base this complete length is called base okay now height what should be the meaning of height height means the vertical height okay this side yani if you see here this side will not be taken as the height okay this is wrong okay so what will be the height just the vertical line so if you can draw a vertical line like this then this will be taken as the height okay make sure that you are understanding height very correctly don't take this as the height okay this is not height this is wrong okay height means always the vertical line like this which makes an angle of 90 degree from the base like this okay so if you know these th two things then you can find the area of parallelogram easily so what you can see here i am writing in short a is equal to b b means base times h means height so what all three things here you can see here in this formula you see one unknown is area another is base another is height so in the question from these three things they will give you two things okay maybe maybe they will give you base and height and they will say find the area maybe they will give you area and base then they will say find the height or maybe they will say area and height is given find the base okay so we are we are going to discuss some questions try to understand the question okay and if any problem please write in the comment now question can be for example find the missing length now here you can see what is the missing length here this is power 2 is written yes so this is the value of area b is missing means base is missing and what is given else height is also given so first you write the formula here a is equal to b times height so a means 32 is equal to b is not known b we have to find and h means 4 okay now we have to find b so what you have studied in the last lessons that if you have to find b then b should be alone here it should be single so b is multiplied by 4 so what you will do you will divide both sides by 
4. Okay. So, B is equal to 32 divided by 4. 32 divided by 4, how much? Did you say 8? Yes, very good. So, its answer will be 8 meter. Okay. I am sure you understand this question. Now, let's talk about the next question. Now, you see, I think this is all the same question, but here height is missing. So, first, compulsorily you will write the formula. Okay. So, A is equal to base multiply by height. So, A is equal to this time. It is 200. B is 50. This is B. Okay. This base is B. So, this is 50. Multiply H we have to find. So, divide both sides by 50 because H is multiplied by 50. So, H is equal to 200 divided by 50. So, 200 divided by 50. Can you do it quickly? 0 and 0 cancelled out. So, 20 divided by 5 will be 4 centimeter. Okay. So, like this you can find the missing length. If all the things are given to you, maybe in any question, I'll, I'll take uh, before this question, I'll take one more question for you. See, maybe they give you the parallelogram. Okay. And they say height is 5 centimeter and base is 20 centimeter. So, what will be its area? Its area will be B multiply H means 20 multiply 5. So, it is 100 centimeter square or whatever unit is given to you. That will be the answer. Okay. So, this is extra question I told you when they will give you base and height. Then you just multiply them and you will get the area. Okay. Now, let's talk about some other questions like don't concern this as an accurate figure. This big one is it is a square okay, or something like that. Okay, We are not concerned about that. It will be written in the question. Okay, Now, they say find the area B. So, we have to find this area. So, take it as a parallelogram. Actually, this is as a parallelogram in the book. So, it was taking time to draw the picture. So, I made it little quickly. Okay. Now, see what all things we need here. First, you write the formula. So, A is equal to base multiply by height. We have to find area. So, do we know the value of base? You see base is this one. Yes or no? Base is here. Okay. So, this is 7. And what is height here? Height is, you can see, this is height. Yes. So, you can see here, this side and this side will be same and which is 6.5. So, just multiply them. So, 7 times 5, 35 and 7 times 6, 42 and 3, 45 and 1 place decimal. So, this is centimeter I am taking square. Okay. Like this, you can find the area of the parallelogram. Okay. Now, I am sure you understand this lesson and if there is any problem, you can write in the comment. Okay. Just again as a review only for you. If you need to find the area of the parallelogram, then what you will do? Area is equal to length of the base multiply by height. Okay. Length of the base multiply by height. So, if base is given, height is given, just multiply them, you will find area. Okay. Like this, hope you understand this lesson and if you think that it will increase your knowledge, please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.